because you just accidentally deleted some important files or photos from your USB flash drive, your external hard drive, or your SD drive. Well, if you're feeling that way, this video is going to show you some easy software to download so that you can recover your recently deleted files and folders. Welcome back, everybody. It's your girl, LaShondra, the number one coach to help you live better, love more, and thrive. So if you're ready to get this started and learn how to recover your files, finish watching this tutorial. So what you want to do is you want to go to wisecleaner.com slash wisedatarecovery.html. Um, you can just actually look at the URL right here. Or um, I actually did provide it in the description box below. So if you look at the description, I would just honestly copy the website, paste it into your own um, browser so that it's easier for you and you don't have to make any mistakes. Once you actually get to this website, website, what you're going to do is you're going to see something that says free download. The free download allows you to do certain things, but it doesn't allow you to do everything. But it was very helpful for me in regards to um, downloading the, the deleted files for me. So um, all I did was hit the free download button. Okay, so hit that button. And as you see right here, you're start to see the setup. So what it's doing is it's setting up the um, this tool on my desktop. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it. Do you want to allow this app to make changes? Yes, to make changes. Yes, because you're going to allow it to basically recover things. Um, I accept the agreement. So you're accepting what is going on. You're going to install it. Um, as it's installing, what it's going to do is say finish. Um, do you want to allow it to make changes to your devices? Sit, click yes again. So as you see, this screen pops up that says, thank you for choosing Wise Data Recovery. You can just exit out of that. Um, once it actually downloads, it's going to automatically upload by itself. But let's just imagine it did not. You're going to see the desktop on your computer somewhere. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're just going to click it open. And then the same box that you saw a few seconds ago is actually going to load. And so, um, yes, you're going to allow it to make those changes. OK, so as you see, we're back on this screen that you guys saw a few seconds ago that I just closed out. And what it's going to show you is the various documents that you or the various drives that you can choose. What you're going to choose is the document that you're trying to re recover from. Mine is my USB drive. What you're going to do is a quick scan. This quick quick scan is the free feature on the device. Um, so if you actually do a deep scan, I think you have to actually pay for it. Um, which could get expensive. So I'm just doing a quick scan. What it's going to do is it's going to proceed to scan all of the documents that have been deleted off of my USB drive. And so I'm just waiting patiently for the documents to show up. And then as the sh documents show up, as you can see, I can go to specific folders within my flash drive. Um, let's just say I wanted to do this black graduation speech that I gave and I want to recover it. What I do is I always go to, let's see, I would go to like my desktop. I would make a new folder. Um, and then let's see. So let's see if we could rename this folder and we're going to call it speech. And then what it's going to do is it's going to, okay, make folder. Okay. Probably did not work. Okay. We're just going to. Let's see, speech. Let's see if we can do that. Does that folder work? Okay. Um, okay, so not sure if the folder did get called speech or not. It may not have been. But if you want, you can just open directly to where it would have been. And then it's you're going to see this pop up. You're going to just keep clicking until you actually see like your speech. There you go. So let's just say you accidentally did not select for it to take you directly there. What you're going to see is you're going to see on my desktop. So it actually worked. I think both of these folders are it. So I created a speech folder and you're going to click, keep clicking until it actually takes you to the actual document that you want to recover. And then there you go. What I would actually do too is I would um, probably just move this to the side. And to make life easier, I would probably just move the um, document back to your desktop and then just add it back to your flash drive or wherever you deleted it from so that you have it actually back in there. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys like, subscribe, and um, let me know how you guys like this video. Hopefully it helped um, and everything like that. So you guys don't have to stress. 
Hopefully your documents are recovered and that is it. Have a great day. And remember to watch my other videos that you will see on the screen.